too many, too, there are too many speakers. There are too many entrepreneurs, too many entrepreneurs, too many people that are on Clubhouse thinking that they're legit speakers nowadays. Jesus Christ, don't get me started on that. That's what I'm going to talk about today. We're going to dabble in a little bit. But like you said before, right? If they really want the, the, the meat on the, on the bone, you got to go check out the first episode. <laughs> All right, welcome to a new episode of Real Estate First Tech. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. We have our co-host, Mr. Dan Gandy. Welcome, Dan. Thanks for having me. What's up, listeners? Of course. And viewers. <laughs> I know, right? Anyone and everyone. And today, we actually have a returning guest on the show. This man has been on fire. He's like, I got to get back on. He has some things in the works, and then you'll learn all about it. Um, and we're not getting into a traditional episode today with this because you'll have to watch his other episode because now we'll have two episodes on real estate first tech we have ed saduk on the show welcome ed to real estate first tech what's up boys thanks for having me back on dude of course of course man so today we're taking a joe rogan approach because our viewers and listeners need to go back to the first episode if they want to actually understand more of your story who you are the technology behind the man the myth the legend but really quick for anyone who's new and lazy no you know no offense our viewers and listeners and then want to go back fun, to the first episode <laughs> but watch the first thing episode like tell us like really quick like who are you man who are you where are you at you know i know you're a real estate professional obviously i know you're in a in a building that you're you're uh, you're doing some amazing things at now so give us some context so our viewers and listeners know who we're talking to 100 percent. so what's up guys for those that do not know me for the lazy ones as you said right <laughs> <laughs> My, my name is Ed Sulak. I am a licensed realtor out in New Jersey, USA. But my true passion is not selling real estate. It is, as a matter of fact, teaching realtors worldwide on the, about, about the importance of social media and personal branding. That's what I do. That's what puts a smile on my face, a smile on my heart. And I love putting a smile on people's faces with my entertaining, educational type of content. So I like to make people laugh. I like to give a little bit of value, too. So... That's, that's what my personal brand is about, and I help others find theirs. Wow. Love it. And is Ed our first repeat guest? Yes. Yes. First so, in history. He's this is first. The, yeah, this is the first real estate technology now flash forward. So what's been going on? Yeah. What have you been since our last episode? Since the last episode, well, I gotta admit, this is my first repeat episode as well. <laughs> Not another episode like this. This is cool, guys. Uh, no, I, it's it's an honor. I, I like everything you guys going on. You guys went with the whole rebranding route. I see you guys are up to some new evolutionary things. So it's cool. It's cool. I like. I applaud you guys. Appreciate you, man. In terms, of course, of course, and I like being with uh, evolutionary, you know, entities like you guys and gentlemen. <laughs> so we can talk about tech and all this fun stuff. But what have I been up to? I joined a new agency. I left real estate. Uh, I left Remax about okay. a week ago. Um, I left Remax about early, early 2021. Um, have not made the announcement public yet, which is funny. Uh, so this is the first podcast I'm kind of saying it on, but I'm coming up with a a whole uh, announcement video. Um, so I'm going to be switching over. And I'm not going to uh, the place where everyone else thinks that influencers go to. But I'm going to a very similar thing right so it's huh. called real real brokerage and i switched on over just a few days ago so it's cool it allows me to expand nationwide and all this fun stuff so i left remax that's pretty big i'm writing a book which i'm so excited about i have a whole wow. book that i'm going to be talking about exactly what i started off the show with right social media yeah. personal branding all this techie geeky kind of stuff is all going to be in this book teaching realtors how to attract millions of dollars in real estate by building a personal brand online so that's what I'm going to talk about today. We're going to dabble in a little bit, but like you said before, right? If they really want the, the, the meat on the, on the bone, you got to go check out the first episode. <laughs> you do. You do. This is a two-parter, two-parters for our viewers and listeners. But I have to say, I remember, so we met because of a, an event in, in San Francisco and um, I remember, you know, saw you speak before I actually went to the event. I looked you up online and speaking of Remax, the one video that just comes out for me was your unboxing because of all the swag they gave you from Remax. <laughs> you had the jacket, you had all this stuff going on and it was very- It looked human. like Veterans Day. 
Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember that, man. I remember that. So I just wanted to shine some light there because, you know, you leaving is like, man, that video, I remember you're so excited. But hey, you, you have to evolve, right? You got to keep moving. That's forward. right. It's, it's funny you bring that up is because literally the, the supplier of all that merch, I just got off the phone with her like 45 minutes ago. And she's like, hey, I'm ready to make you some more merch. I'm like, awkward. I left. <laughs> she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we got to chat. We got to chat. But, yeah, it's, it's things like that, right? How, how to make it attract, how to attract eyeballs, attention, right? Yeah. I, I really personally believe that attention equals dollars some shape or form, right? Every follower, every viewer, every comment, every like, every, every, any piece of engagement is, is one step closer to touching someone that might be interested in working with you and getting to know you more, diving into your journey, chatting more, I love all these little things that so many people neglect. I saw, uh, I saw a post and correct me if I'm wrong, how many transactions from social media this last year? Ooh, <laughs> I, I, oh my God, I had, I think 2020, I had around 76 or 78 sales and about more than 70% of them were social media. So I don't remember the exact number, I forget, but more than 70%, even if I said 10% it's social media, right? It, it works. Wow. Yeah. Agents, <laughs> if you're listening, viewing, hearing, transcribing, whatever you're doing to digest this content. He just said that 70% of his business came from his efforts on social media. And I just wanted everybody to kind of reiterate that in their head. Because if 70% of your business is coming from social media, I did not hear the word past clients or database or cold calling or door knocking. I heard social mm -hmm. media. And you know, you know what you need for social media? A phone. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. There you go. Pretty simple. I you need it. a phone. And, you know, the simplicity of, of everything you just said is uh, too many. Too, there are too many speakers. There are too many entrepreneurs, too many entrepreneurs, too many people that are on Clubhouse thinking that they're legit speakers nowadays. Jesus Christ, don't get me started on that. Uh, but everyone. <laughs> we will thinks, ask you about that. Oh, please do. I'm ready to dive into Clubhouse and my uh, honest thoughts. But yes, in, in terms of people talking right there's so many of these experts so-called quote-unquote experts of oh well you know business comes from instagram and social media but no one ever talks about like what that means like what the hell does that mean is it a person that just like saw your instagram advertisement and they said wow this person looks like they are a realtor let me reach out or is it the other hand of no this is just me attracting people having them boom just bombard them with my social media content that i post on a daily basis whether it's Instagram story, it's an Instagram feed, IGTV, IG reel, something stupid I do. Like, what do I do that attracts people to, to reach out to me and say, Ed, uh, you know, I, how do I get pre-approved? Or, you know, like, who can I work with? Or, you know, it starts off with little things like that. Let them reach out to you. I'll give you my most recent example because the viewers that are or viewers and, and listeners are probably thinking, yeah, 70%. Yeah, that's, that's great, dude. Like, you know, bragging rights. God bless. But like what, how, how did you make that happen? The one most recent example, I just had two closings on Monday, which equaled $900,000 exactly. I helped the family buy a house for 390,000 and I helped them sell their house for 510,000. The funny part is in this market, as I'm sure everyone knows right now during COVID, right? When we're filming this, uh, COVID time markets are insane everywhere. Whether you're in Arizona, you're in California, Canada, New Jersey, Texas, Mexico, it doesn't matter. Real yeah, estate yeah. is stupid right now so here's the funny part right i helped this instagram family the lead that i got from instagram i helped them buy a house thirty thousand under asking and helped them sell their house sixty thousand over asking i don't know how don't ask me <laughs> i did it though but the funny part is, is i got them through instagram and how did that happen they reached out to me because they said ed it's funny this is their comment right ed it's funny that you liked our picture and you commented we were just talking about at the dinner table with my husband about possibly selling our house this year. Um, we have a four bed, three bath. It's a cul-de-sac, one acre of land. You know, would you be interested? That's all. That, that's it, right? That's what she said on an Instagram comment. I forget which picture it was. And I've been trying to find it, but I found her and I reached out. It was a little, little, a little video message. saying, I was going to hey, say Karen. video message. That <laughs> always, always pull out the phone. This is the most yep. beautiful equipment that we have. 
don't don't go spending five thousand dollars on camera equipment that you're going to overwhelm yourself with knowing how to navigate no 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 no. your phone i pulled out my phone filmed the video what's up karen pleasure to meet you i would be more than happy to chat like what's what's up with this for but how long you been living there for and we just went at it do you know when that connection happened when that happened two years ago boom and it and it just closed on monday it took wow. me two years. However, that's an Instagram lead. So I don't want to give people the, the misperception of, oh, well, it's just Instagram. You know, people just go and find you and this and no, no. Like, how did that actually happen? Well, following up is one huge component. Being present, all that content that you see right behind you, right? That's content that I post on a, a lot. So I have to just post it out there. Post, 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 post. Yep. The last picture, actually, right behind your head is ABP. Always be posting. You never know who's watching, right? So post something, get people attracted that. to the stuff that you're posting. You want to make sure that you're posting on a daily basis if you possibly can attract people and conversations like that might happen. And if yeah. they do take advantage and follow up and then do your due diligence as a real estate professional, follow up, touch base, send houses, wow, wow, you know? So it's, you, that's, that's just a quick example. You brought up a great concept there that uh, I think a lot of agents, there's, there's your short term marketing or your short fuse marketing that you get out there or you buy leads, they come in, somebody's motivated. That's like your 3% out of a hundred people, right? Hey, I need to buy or sell right now. But you're focused on being a personality and being a part of their daily scroll that they're like, what's that up to? Right. And then that long-term marketing game that you're playing becomes like, I'm always seeing Ed. Now I know who Ed is. What's Ed doing today? What's Ed eating today? And that type of marketing starts to ingrain in, in potential clients or nurtures brains. And people, I think, really undervalue that psychology of like, you're just like the billboard they drive and see every single day. <laughs> Love that. Love that. You said it so nicely right now. That's, that's honestly how I compare it to and I, how I give the analogy. These are free billboards. Imagine someone comes to you from the local highway and you always see that big billboard there and you always see the, the grocery or the, some type of pharmaceutical lawyer, but now it could be you. And imagine that company says, we'll do it for free too, by the way. <laughs> are you, are you going to say no? Yes. Say yes. Hell yes. yeah. For how long? A month, two months. That's free marketing right there. This is what social media is. Any post that you post, it's a free billboard. Yeah. Great. Well said. Totally. Uh I, I love that. What comes up for me is, is that you post with no reserve. So there's not a lot, a lot of that overanalyzation or overthinking. You just lead. You just go. You're like, hey, I, I love everyone. I love myself. I have no reserve. I don't care if people think. I'm just going to be my goofy, funny self. Just do it. You get it done. And you hit on, I think, the topic of people forget what you said. They'll forget what you did. But they'll never forget the way you made them feel. And you make people mm -hmm. feel something that they actually, like, you could take to the bank. And, like, you're, I thought I would mean, have liked that's your intention, but I feel like because you do what you do and you're just true and authentic and real, people eat that up and then they can't forget you. And then, like Dan just said, what is Ed up to? And then they see you and they're like, <laughs> okay. That's what I say every time I scroll past. I'm like, what's Ed up to? <laughs> I appreciate you guys. And, and see, it's, it's, I teach people how to become the Kylie Jenner of their industry. How can you become a Kylie Jenner? How can you become a Matthew McConaughey? How can you become a Brad Pitt, a Angelina Jolie of your industry? Yeah. People that are so big where everyone knows them, whether they watch their movies, whether they hate them, whether they like them, whether they're a fan, whether they just wish that they can not make movies anymore, right? They, we know them, we hear them, we see them. So it's like, and sometimes we look into their brands to see what they're up to. Why did Angelina just go ahead and adopt like 15 more kids? Like we talk about this stuff. It's fun, right? We laugh, right? And it's, it's this stuff. How do we make people talk about us like that? So when the time comes and they think real estate, boom, John thinks, oh, I'm John. I've seen John's pictures so many times. I wonder if that kid is selling in my area. And what do they do? They reach out to John. John, what's up? You know, we've been thinking about it. It's funny that we came across your pro. No, it's not funny. John's been posting so damn much that of course it's going to happen. You know, like who else think, who else are you going to think of? So that's, that's kind of what it is all about. How do you become that person, that, that entity, that celebrity, that local celebrity in your area online, do it online. It's so powerful. People neglect it. Yeah. 
and not a plug for our own company, but we've been, we, we've been labeling ourselves the number one positioning agency. And what you're talking about is positioning yourself in your local market as somebody who's knowledgeable, has a great personality, is personable, is a resource. And it, it doesn't even have to be an expertise in a specific type of real estate. You just need to be in that geographical era or area and being top of mind so that you're positioned to be able to create that, create that opportunity when the time is right. It's the number, you have like the nurturing model 101, like dialed. That's what it is. That's it. That's it. I like that. You got to relate to people. And, and real quick segue. Um, one thing also people neglect is as, as much as I'm telling people, everyone listening right now, right? I encourage you, figure out what your personal brand is. Tailor it to your fit. However, don't forget to tailor it to others' fit as well. So people do go ahead and figure out what their brand's about and they start posting. But when you start posting coffee and then fashion and then cars and then NASCAR and then fishing, it's like, what, what are you about? Like, you're confusing me. You know, tune, tune it in so people understand, like, oh, I know Dan. Dan's going to post next picture. is going to be something fashion related. Boom, he posts something fashion. I knew it, see? But if it's all over the place, you know, you're going to confuse your people. So my, my tip here, you know, figure out what your brand is. However, don't forget to dive into the other shoes that are watching your stuff and see what they want to consume, see what they want to eat and digest and come back for more, right? So you got to give them what they want so they keep coming back for more um, to, to you instead of someone else. So tailor it. it to yourself, tailor it to your audience too. I love that. I love that. So I think now they have some things to chew on. So I want to kind of go into where you're sitting at and where you're at. I know that you're in a building. I know that you closed on a deal. I'm not sure if this is because of social media and you're selling a bunch of units. It looks like you have a team underneath you. Give us some context as far as what you've been up to with this new development, I believe it was, that you took on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Help selling. I'm, or? I'm, I'm so happy that you know it. Everything you just said is exactly what it is, you know? And, <laughs> and, how, do, and how do you know? How do you know it? Because social media, right? It's because of the social media stuff that you have to be repetitive for. So I, I appreciate you for, for dialing in, you know, that, that means a lot. Social, um, social media brought me this, this piece of business. I posted um, a, a ton of things about real estate, real estate, social media, personal branding, real estate, fashion, fashion. And people that like that stuff obviously were attracted to me and they followed me. And it was this one realtor from New York City. And she reached out to me and said, Ed, uh, this was about, um, I want to say June, June 2020, reaches out to me, Ed, uh, I, I know you're in the Jersey area. And uh, I, have a, I have a project I'm working on. Would you happen to know someone that might be interested? Maybe even you? I said, what is it? She said, can you meet me at this site? I said, sure. So I go and meet her at the site next morning at 11 a.m. As I pull up, right, I'm driving into this very unordinary type of site, which I was not expecting. My car is all bumpy and whatnot. I'm hitting potholes. I'm like, what the hell is this place, man? And I finally get there and I park right next to this nice car. And I'm like, all right, cool. It's a site. And as I'm talking to her, she walks out, I'm talking to her and she's like, yeah, so the developers are over there and I'm looking at this four story building that's still being built. And I'm thinking this cannot be it. Don't tell me this is it. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we go into this trailer, the developers come in, they start interviewing me, interrogating me. And keep in mind, I don't do developments. I am only sales, houses, nice little single family home, condo. This was a 180 unit building. So I'm thinking, all right, cool. I'm going to wing it. I'm good at winging stuff. So let's give it a shot. Um, <laughs> and I'm good at improv too. They start asking me questions. They're like, so what's your uh, absorption rate? Like, what the fuck is an absorption rate? I'm like 10%. <laughs> They're like, that's pretty good. I'm like, okay, good. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about here. But you know what? They asked me so many questions. And I said, if I can land this gig, then I can show that Instagram works. Social media works. So I said, listen to the guys. I was like, listen, I am new. I know what I'm doing online. I know I can bring you the, the clientele that you're looking for. You want young, you want people to fill up this building. I got it. Give me the shot. I will do whatever it takes. Just allow me to get this business um, for you. They were said that they were sold. Let's go. Let's do it. They signed the paperwork and I was astonished. I had no idea what I was jumping into. That was the most intense kind of meeting and intense 
like drawing session of what the next few years are going to look like for me. But man, I got to be honest. I am my, my passion for real estate has revived ever since I joined this project, ever since I started, started growing a team under me. Amazing. I, I love this building. There's so much more. I plan on having buildings like this throughout nationwide and it's interesting, but you know what? Instagram got that. Instagram made that happen. So I am so thankful and loyal to Instagram because of that one little thing. Nothing else made that happen. It was social media. It was the branding. It was the posting that made someone reach out to me and go ahead and uh, start up that conversation. It, it works. It does. Key takeaway, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Mm. Amen. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's fun. On a pivot of conversation, and I, I think me and you kind of chatted back and forth on Instagram. Uh, let's talk about Crack House. I mean, Clubhouse. And <laughs> um, and let's get your feedback, man. It's uh, I agree with where you're coming from, man. Like, I jump into Clubhouse rooms. I was all about it for the first few weeks. And this isn't a hate on Clubhouse. There's a lot of great value there. A lot of things that you can learn. A lot of things you can deep dive into. But I felt like uh, it was high school again. And like the top agents were starting to build clicks and like you couldn't get into their click because you weren't cool like them or you weren't doing their volume like them. And I subtly started to backpedal. And now I'm like, yeah, I'll go into clubhouse when I get some time and I'm completely bored. So <laughs> let me hear what you're, what you're about. I love it. Can I say before I say it, I want to hear Norman's opinion. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I only have so much to say because I have an Android um, he can't even get in. <laughs> I, I have two Android. All right. That's all um, for Norman. All right. <laughs> um, I can't even get in. And I, I don't know how many people wasted their invites on me. And I'm like, sorry, like I can't even. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I can't even get into the app. So that's, that's as far as funny. I go. Cool. Cool. Yeah. See, that, just, just right there. Is it, is it a problem for you to say that? It's not exactly a problem. However, it's. It, it, it makes us talk about this, right? So Clubhouse is now all of a sudden pushing us to talk about the exclusiveness that it offers, right? All of a sudden, iPhone users are the only ones that can talk about it. Or, well, everyone talks about it. iPhones are, are users are the only ones that can access it. Android users are complaining that they can't get in there. You know, it's, it's a nice concept. It's a nice way to go ahead and put out the word about that stuff. However, at the end of the day, we want to figure out how we can all be a part of a, a community like this. Right now, it's not really allowing us to do that. So that's, that's my first thing. That's not even the biggest reasons <laughs> why I'm against it. And I want to say against it. And I'm not a person to hate on something. However, what I dislike, my biggest thing I'll say is Clubhouse, you know, the, the app icon. I, I have to say, man, you do not make an app icon a person, a face, a color, a skin color. This is, it's, show me another social media app that does that. And you will not find one. I guarantee out of the 10,000 social media apps that there are, why are 9,999 9, of them a, a symbol? It's a logo. It's a Tweety bird. It's an Instagram camera. It's a Facebook F. It's a YouTube play button. It's a TikTok. Nothing. However, they very so much made it about a community base. Now, again, this is just my perspective that they, I just, I just don't enjoy that at all. Um, I don't want to be associated with something of that sort. However, I, I enjoy the concept of what it's about at the end of the day, right? I can talk so many cons about it, but I'll give one pro and I like the audio concept. It's nice. It's smart. However, I would feel so much better and I would be such a huge advocate if a concept like LinkedIn went and bought out Clubhouse, integrated the concept into their own app and yes. all of a sudden revived LinkedIn for what it really was in the beginning. LinkedIn is I don't care what people say. It's an app that is not moving forward. They're trying super Damn, hard, man. but it's like not yeah. pushing forward. So if they integrated a concept like Clubhouse, I think LinkedIn has a new purpose again. So listen up, Jeff Warner. If you're listening, <laughs> you just call Mr. Ed over here and we'll uh, have you purchase Clubhouse and integrate it into right. LinkedIn. And now you have a bunch of people who are highly qualified talking about the right things in the right rooms. And uh, <laughs> I won't delete 99.9% .9 of my LinkedIn messages. There you go. There you go. Because 99.9% .9 are, are exactly spammy. 
<laughs> hey, looking to buy or hey, looking to, you know, I think you can use marketing. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I like yeah. that, Ed. And I have to lead in with, you know, some of my thoughts with what you're saying is, is that it's like they're feeding into the negative aspect where we all know negative media pushes a lot quicker than the positive media. So they can then they start that, oh, well, you only get one invite. Oh, I wasted my invite. How do I get more? Oh, you're not Android user. Oh, you're only on iPhone. So iPhone users only get it. Oh, there's that. Why is, why is it an African-American who's going to be on the actual face of it? Like, oh, because of Black Lives Matters, but okay, I'm white. So now I feel offended. Yada, 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 yada. But when all that stuff goes away and everyone's on it, eventually I feel like it's, and you know, you can lead into what you feel, what's going to happen. I feel like it's going to fizzle out because then all of that negative publicity is going to stop. And then people are going to be like, all right, I'm too fucking busy for this. I can't sit on this app all day long because if you're busy, you can be on it. I'm sitting there like, how do you have a, you have a real estate team of 400 million production and it's like 2.30 on a Thursday and you're not focused on, you're helping your agents. You're sitting in clubhouse talking about all this stuff that you're doing. And I'm just like, I don't see the value. Like you better off shooting YouTube videos and, and getting good content out to people who can watch it and digest it from all different angles. But that's, that's just it. my thought. That's my and thought. like I said before, too many people go on there thinking that they're speakers and experts all of a sudden, you know, and I, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything of that sort, but I've been working my ass off for nine years to get to the point where I am today. My following of 49,000 plus on Instagram, 12,000 on TikTok, uh, 4,000 here, 4,000 there, you know, that took me nine years to build. It was not overnight. Yep. So the fact that I'm now considered a speaker and a, I do keynote presentations, I just flew in from Tampa a few days ago. I did a whole presentation in front of a hundred plus people. Like that has been something I've been working on for quite some time. So now people thinking that they're experts in their areas of whatever it is that they're doing, just because they're now a clubhouse speaker gives them the misperception of, all right, well, now I'm a speaker. I can do this now. I, I know what I'm talking about, to be honest with you. And I, I think I'm one of the most straightforward people ever. <laughs> Some people are not meant to be heard. I'm sorry. Some people are not meant to be heard. I don't need to hear your opinion. It's wrong. It's um, it's your opinion, but it's wrong. Um, you know, so it's, it's just like and people, too many of those are having uh, voices and are given the platform now to be these speakers and these trainers and all of a sudden I look at it like it's, it's cute. You're, you're cute, but it's not going to last forever. So I honestly think that clubhouse is getting a little too oversaturated. And personally, from what I believe, I believe in physics as fast as something goes up, it goes down. January 4th was the first time I heard about clubhouse. January 5th was the second time I heard about clubhouse. January 5th in the evening was the third time I heard about it. I said, okay, what is this? I looked into it. January 6th, Almost everyone was on it. January 9th, everyone knew about it and now was talking about it way too fast, way too fast. And this is exactly why I'll conclude this topic is why I think Clubhouse is going to die June 2021. Interesting. Go. Interesting. Yeah. Not to mention the blind leading the blind. That's exactly mm -hmm. what it is when someone's trying to be a keynote or speaker or whatever else, because at the end of the day, like, you know, I, I'll be honest, like, I'm the CEO of Liftoff Agent. I, I'm one of the co-founders. You know, I don't have a lot of time personally to be on social media. So I'm on to be relevant and want to be on. And I want to be consistent. I want to lead by example. I would love to be at like an ed level. I mean, dude, congratulations. 50,000 followers, what you're doing. That's amazing. But truth to be told, I'm fucking busy. So I don't have time. I don't have time to sit there. And that's why I'm not on Clubhouse. And that's why I'm not, I have the money. I go buy an iPhone again, Clubhouse, if I really wanted to do it. But I'm not going to spend that because I want to focus on income producing activities that I'm going to see on the bottom line of my P&L sheet at the end of 2021, one that I want to scale this to freaking 10x and I'm looking to give our, our first round of AC round funding. Like I'm not interested in, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. Is Everyone's right. got different, different perspectives. Yep. You know, uh, how, how many followers would you say you have, Norman? Uh, 6,000. Personally. Your 6,000 followers might be better than my 50,000. So already you're saying that I want to get on that level. You already got a level. You got your own level. <laughs> this, is an, this is another thing that people are overwhelmed with. Yeah. They think that they have to hit 10,000 right away to make it big. No, your hundred yeah. followers might be so much more powerful than someone's million followers that were bought for $5,000, right? There are so many ways 
to grow followings, but the best way is to be authentic, be real, be genuine, let it grow gradually, slowly, but surely. We yeah. don't want the clubhouse effect, right? What I say, and it's going to be in my book, it's going to be called the Pokemon Go effect. Pokemon Go was a thing. It was the sexiest thing. Everyone and their mothers was doing it for a whole solid whopping two weeks. Then it died. D- d- Pokemon Go effect. Yeah, right? I remember. It's, all right, right. It's going to be a very, very similar thing to it. So don't let your brand be that. Grow yeah. gradually, slowly but surely. Let let you grow six thousand legit followers that are better than someone's million. That could be. You never know where followers come from. You never know where, why they follow them for. If they bought them, if they actually grew them, you don't know this stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. So just work with what you got. It's much better than someone else's fake following. Yeah. When I, when I jump on like a client success call, I always say you got to become the engine of digital relationships in your local area. Like you got to build those digital relationships the same as if you door knock or meet somebody at a networking event, but social media should be the engine to digital relationships. And when you don't put fuel into it or you don't take it to the shop, tires start to fall off. Like shit gets rusty and people stop, you know, they want to look at things that are flashy and, and bring value. So dude, kudos to what you're bringing to the community, man. Cause I, I see your name around. I see the people that are tagging you and, You've, we've we've watched your journey just in the last what 12 to 15 16 months so yeah thank um, you thank you i appreciate that very much to pivot towards kind of uh you know the end game here like where where do you see this evolution of your real estate business your social media and branding i mean are you trying to be gary v and have your own agency like let's let's hear it i i want i hmm. It's a far-fetched question because it's changed so many times. I'm sure everyone's changes. But again, like I said, right, this building has revived my passion for real estate. Two years ago, I was ready to just give it up and say, screw it. I'm focusing on social media only. But now I got this building and I'm growing a team and I'm seeing how much money can be made. I'm seeing how how big of a team can be grown. I'm seeing I can make my own thing here. And I'm thinking, wow, this is so neat. Like, I love this again. I would love to do this nationwide. So long term, long vision having more of these buildings nationwide, having my teams all around, making sure that they're going ahead and selling these buildings or renting them out properly. So I want to have this nationwide team. Um, that's one vision. But number two, I, I would love to be in movies and shows. I'm putting it out there into the universe. I want to be on a TV show. I want to be in a movie. I don't know what it's going to be, but I want to be the Matthew McConaughey of my industry is, is how I'm going to put it, right? I, I like Matt. He's, he's awesome. Love his voice. He's a sexy man. I just like, I like that stuff. I want to be that, you know? So I, I, I enjoy that, but I want to be that of real estate. So that, that's probably the long-term vision. Wow. I, right. I, I can, could, I could see that, man. I can see that. Cause I know that you had uh, Ryan Serhant on a Instagram live and I know that uh, you use social media and some amazing um, strategies to be able to get top of mind for him and to then get on with him. And I know that he has his own show, Million Dollar uh, you know, New York, and um, he then has his own brokerage and he's doing big things. And I can kind of see kind of where you're going and um, I could see some alignment as far as like, you know, you're looking and they say like attracts like, so you're looking to attract the same type of maybe cadence or individual that you like. Um, but obviously Ed, cause you're one of a kind and going in that direction. So for sure, for sure. Thank you. No, I would love that. Would love that and banking on it. So, and I think social media is going to be a big factor to that. So I'm not stopping posting anytime soon. <laughs> so I was going to say, tell everybody where they can, we, we can follow you. Tell us everybody where they can get your book when it is out. Sure. Like, just walk away. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram is my absolute platform. I have everything on there. That's my digital business card of today. I mean, I, I don't, I just got printed out business cards. I'm going to use them at open houses, but that's about it. Um, Instagram is where I'm at. My book website is going to be there for the book. My masterclass is there for Instagram. Uh, my uh, house is my reviews, my lifestyle. Everything is on there. So follow me on Ed Stulak and you can theoretically follow me everywhere else. Uh, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. <laughs> Um, where are my only, uh, only fans? Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the Everywhere. Universe. <laughs> I love Everywhere. that. Uh, Ed Stulak. Yep. 
I'll make sure to put the, the links down below so they can have all that there for you to be able to tune into. Um, we're about probably what are it, 10 to eight weeks out. So hopefully by then your book will be released. And uh, when it does get released, no matter what, we'll put that link down below. So if the link's there get now, it. then the book's I'll buy it. Out. I'm buying it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think uh, we're reading a book right now. Dan suggested, I believe it's called, uh, what is it? Uh, Digital, Pres uh, Digital President or something? What is it called? Digital President by, um, uh, it's by Michael Reese and Woods Davis, the guys over okay. at EXP and um, National Association of Ex Expert Advisors, good friend of Jay Kinder and all those guys. So um, yeah, man, it's about building funnels, you know, really targeting your ideal client. And uh, I think that you do, there's a lot of synergy when I read that book about what you're doing and how you, how you're uh, attracting other agents to absorb your information and and have confidence in what you're saying and doing because you're obviously doing it. So yeah. awesome. And, and they talk about writing a book. So yeah. you're already I mean, doing that. You're pretty much doing everything they said in the book. So <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Check it out. It's there's there's all, all sorts of ways you can go about getting, you know, publicity out there. Good publicity, bad publicity, it's still publicity. We talked about it before. Negative comments, positive comments, there's still comments, it's still publicity. So there's, there's so many ways. So I, I appreciate you guys because you're helping me out with one of my things, which is publicity. So you guys are helping me out with getting exposure to your amazing audience. Uh, you guys always pressure with your content. I'm honored to be on your show. And uh, thank you guys for all the love and support you always drown me with. <laughs> Here you go. Definitely, man. And, you know, for the viewers and listeners out there, you know, Ed is very proactive. He reached out to us and said, I want to get back on. I got a book. I have some stuff I want to promote out there. And I love the fact that, you know, Ed, you're taking on that opportunity to say, hey, like, you know what? It's a great PR play. Let me get back on the show. I could, you know, you could do a bunch of stuff with this. You could do micro content, cut it up, you know, take this, feature this somewhere where you want to feature it and just really be able to lead by example, put more great things out in the universe. But we're at the part of the episode now where the floor is open. The floor is yours. So what do you want to leave with the viewers and listeners? Take advantage of social media. Figure out what your personal brand is about. Do not forget to tailor it to yourself, but most of all, your, your community. Don't worry about how many likes you get. Figure out how many lives you can impact with that one post that you post. All right. These are the things that I want to leave people off with because too many real estate professionals overwhelm themselves. And I don't want you to listen to this whole thing and say, damn, I, I, don't, I don't have time for this. No, no, it's not that you don't have time. You do because all it requires is five minutes out of your day when you're sitting down, you're out on TV and a commercial pops on or you're out in the park or you're at a networking event pretending you're busy in the corner on your phone. You're not busy. Post something, <laughs> right? Take advantage of social media because there is so much, so much greatness to it. But you got to learn how to take advantage of it and do not be a content consumer, be a content creator. So think, think about all these little things that I'm dazzling everyone off with. And uh, again, I'll leave this off. Text me, email me, message me on Instagram. I will respond to everyone. My mission is to help the real estate business evolve, help people begin to understand how to really utilize social media the right way. So reach out to me. I am super approachable. Don't ever think one can't approach me. Um, I'm always messaging people. Wow. Wow. Well, Ed, man, thanks for being on the show, bro. We really appreciate yeah. it. Dude, thanks for having me on. I, I Our appreciate pleasure. it. <laughs> Our pleasure. Friend, you become a, a lifelong friend and me and Norman were excited when we saw it pop up on our calendar. We're like, yes, <laughs> get back on. Good. Yeah. It I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to be coming out to the West Coast one day very soon. So hey, we'll, we'll awesome. hopefully be doing these podcasts in person again. Third third episode coming? What? Yeah. We could. <laughs> I have the studio here. You're always welcome in Arizona. Yeah, I got a room and everything for you, man. So anytime you want to come out, you know, not too far from Scottsdale, over here in Gilbert, you're more than welcome. So, Dan. I love it. Thank you, boys. Of course, Dan, thanks for being on. And yeah, uh, thank you guys. To, uh, yeah, of course. Thanks to all the viewers and listeners, as it is our intention for you to take some from our episodes. So apply to your business, have more massive success, and we will see you in the next one. We made it to the end. Well, thank you so much for watching Real Estate vs. Technology. We hope you found value, especially something you can apply to your real estate business. If you could do us a favor, we would appreciate it. A thumbs up. If you subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for new episodes coming out, and comment below. What the heck did you learn? If you want to join our Facebook group page, there's a link right here. And if you want to be featured on Real Estate First Technology, send us a DM on our Instagram page. We'll see if we get you on the show. So, 
Take care, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.